Hello everybody. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, I wanted to do this video real quick uh, just to talk about the importance of your structure, uh, your center line, and balance, and the connection that you have between the heaven and the earth and yourself. And I don't mean this in any sort of guru way. These are just terminologies, but I think you'll understand what I mean. So let's talk about gravity. Gravity is the energy that is pulling you, always pulling you to the earth. And the one thing is that the line of gravity is always vertical. It's always vertical. So when you are in perfect balance, that means that the gravitational line is not pulling you off of your stability. So what is stability? Stability is when your structure is set up in a way where the structural lines of support connect along the gravitational line in a, in a, in a certain alignment that there is no strain on the body in order to maintain that balance. In, uh, in our Japanese art, we have what's called the Sei Chu Sen. Uh, it's also used in Chinese medicine, etc. But you'll you'll see it around. But Sei Chu Sin means your true middle or center line, and the Sei Chu Sin runs through the middle of the body, right through the entire core of the body, not the external part of the body, but down through the center of the body, all the way through to the ground. And this line is is very, very essential because this is where the energy in your body runs through and that line affects everything else in your body. That's why it's so important in medicine uh, and in martial arts uh, because even in arts like um, kendo and, and things like that, where your objective is to take your opponent's center line while trying to protect your own. That's why we have kamai, we have postures and movement that protect the center line while being able to engage the opponent's center line. But just purely from a, um, from a structured, balanced point of view, when you take your Seichusen and you align it to be along the same line as that vertical gravitational line, you have perfect balance in the body. And the connection between that Ver that vertical line is is very very important because there's energy in that line that that gravitational line has energy in it and it draws from above it and to below and that energy is what allows you to relax because when you relax your energy comes down it settles so in our art, we have a term called Ten Chi Jin, which is comprised of three parts. Ten uh, meaning heaven, uh, Chi meaning earth, and Jin meaning man or, or human, but um, using the masculine term man. But in this relationship, you have heaven and earth as polarities with this gravitational line. And when you put your Seichu Sin aligned with that, you have ten Chi Jin in perfect alignment. And that's a very, very powerful place to be because it's balanced. But also just anatomically, energetically within your body, your body flows more natural when you have that perfect relationship. The processes in the body move naturally. Your organs are not being stressed because they're not being condensed or twisted your blood flow works, all your, all your nervous system is functioning. Everything optimally, optimally functions when that alignment is correct. Now, when you sit, it also is important to maintain this line as well because where your, where your rear end is sitting on that surface, you're, that's the surface area, the platform that that line is sitting on. So whether you're sitting or standing, it's what's going on in the rest of the body and how you connect to this gravitational line that will allow for this optimized structure. So what happens with movement? What happens when our body takes different angles? 
when you take your line and let's just say you have a good straight Satrison line, but you tilt that line. So I tilt my line forward. What happens is, is that the gravitational line, when you're standing straight, the gravitational line is your structure is supporting that balance along the gravitational line. But once you start to dip forward, that gravitational line is pulling on your head. So it's pulling here, which means it's not your structure anymore that's maintaining your balance. It's actually your connection to your structure through your tissues, through your muscles and, and ligaments and tendons and, and, and um, stuff like that that maintains that balance. That's why if you, if you hold a slanted position, you get tired. This is why those good, nice, deep techniques that we do, ski and all this kind of stuff, it's hard to hold those positions because your tendons and ligaments wear out. They get tired. Um, but it's important to understand that gravitational line as you move because you want your structure to support it as much as possible so it reduces the reliance on your tissues in order to maintain that. And that's why it's important when you drop your position that you're moving to points of structure. In this case, your feet, your ankle line, your center line of your hips moves towards your ankle line in a nice smooth drop. So that way it reduces the strain on the knees in order to support your weight and reduces the strain on the back. And also by not arching your back, because when you arch your back, you lose that structural line here, and that creates strain in the lower back as well. So when you're when you're maintaining your balance and you're moving even at a tilt, you're maximizing the use of your structure even when your ligaments and tendons are still kind of holding you. But it's your structure that's creating um, the proper balance so that you're not straining your body. So that's just something for you to consider. We all work in different environments. If you're affected by this pandemic and COVID and stuff, you're probably working in different kinds of environment settings. I know like if you're like me, I telework a lot. Um, some people telework all the time. Some people telework maybe one day or whatever, but that's a different environment. And we don't generally have the proper ergonomics like we would in our office. Maybe you do. That's great. But for a lot of people, they don't. And so they're doing a lot of things that are not structurally sound for long periods of time that they would do as part of their job, their eight-hour job, maybe just for jumping on and browsing through social media or whatever, or watching a video. That's fine. But eight, nine hours or more of work, uh, they're, they're, their home life may not be set up for that. But what we end up having is, is we end up having a lot of structural problems developing from people who are now having to adjust to these environments and it's affecting their ability to, to properly train well because now they're coming in with, with different types of issues that they may not have had before or at least not as much. So in my opinion, my humble opinion, to me, focus of training should really take a step back now and start to look at how our daily lives in this new paradigm that we're working in is affecting our our balance, our natural body, our shizentai, our kamai, our structure, our movement, the taijutsu, our movement. How is it affecting all of that? And really, it's it boils down to um, your your own line, your own line, the balance controlling where that vertical line of balance is entering our bodies. Is it entering it at weird angles, causing us to strain? Is it entering it, entering in our body in a nice centered position where structure can, um, can support us and keep us in balance point? Those are the things that are really important. The other part about this that I wanted to touch on is we live in our current society that is forward reaching. And I don't mean forward reaching in a conceptual thing. I mean, literally, we're always reaching forward, whether it's on our keyboards and mouse or we're using our phones and we're looking at our phones. But we're always forward, forward reaching. The arms are always out in front. And what happens is, is that structurally, we've now evolved or de-evolved, or however you want to say it, to a point where 
our shoulders are forward all the time and our heads are forward. And so I see this a lot, even in my own training, I can see the effect from that. And what's creating that uh, is this forward reaching society. But what's also happening in training is when we're like this and we're training is we end up with this curved back, we end up with the strain and it's pulling our neck and head to where this vertical line of gravity is so even though we might have structure here, but our head is forward, and now we're now we're straining the back back here. Our shoulder blades are open and apart, which means that our balance is going to be off, but also the structure of the body is not working as efficiently as it should, and we end up straining our backs from that as well. Um, but also when you're forward like this. The lungs don't open as much. You're not breathing as fully. And the heart's not, the blood is not flowing as fully because you've concaved this by doing this. And also, the shoulders are straining because you're you're having to keep a constant stress on this. And, and all of that is creating this culmination of negative effect on the body that is unhealthy. And as martial artists, it's not just about surviving the fight. <laughs> it's, it's about managing our lives um, in such a way that maximizes our health and longevity and functionality. And that's something that I think we as a community need to really take more of a look at in our own training. Uh, and those of us that teach, um, if, you're, if, you're, if you have the ability to teach or you're somehow engaged with your students, to me, I think it would be responsible to put a little more emphasis on that. So here's one little thing that I have, uh, that I work on in myself, and I also work on this with my students as well, is different point throughout the day, remind yourself to fix your structure. So what does that mean? Well, to me, I, I like to start with the shoulder blades. So, because we have such a problem with this open shoulder blades being apart, if we take our shoulder blades and we bring them back and down by a simple rolling action, and it's not the arms, it's not about doing this. It's about taking the shoulder blades and bringing them back and down. When you do that, it automatically realigns your body correctly. The shoulder blades being back and down centers everything. Then the head working on bringing the head back so the ears are more in line with the center and the shoulders. And just doing those two things right there make a huge difference even in your energy. So set a reminder for yourself, maybe every 30 minutes, 45 minutes every hour, something like that, um, to just step back and, and, or, and bring those shoulder blades back and down and bring the head back. And then in our class, before we start, uh, before we start our bow in or bow out, we sit in seiza, the kneeling, kneeling position on the ground. And we, I, I have my students and I do this where we bring our shoulder blades back and down. We bring our head in alignment. We connect our, our tailbone to the ground in a, in an alignment way so that we have that, we have that structural alignment, that satusin that lines up with gravity and the tension doing all that stuff. But then we connect our breath to that. So once you do that and you've set your alignment, now you want to breathe into that. And breathing should be like filling up a, a, a filling up a beaker or, or filling up a jar that when you put water in the jar, it fills from the bottom up. So when you breathe, it's not about breathing this up. It's not like that. It's about breathing this out. So you're filling up from the bottom, but even more so, not so much out here, but maybe down instead of out. So when you breathe into this, you're breathing along that same line, that same tension you're in, that same connection, that vertical connection. And you imagine your breath traveling along that line from the bottom and filling up and coming up. When you focus on that, it really relaxes the body. It opens up all of your different parts of the body. Um, it calms you, it settles your energy, it connects you with, with this grounding uh, type of presence. 
that if you spend time doing that, no matter where you are, sitting at your desk, whatever, focus on connecting your structural alignment or your, your centrus in with the gravitational line, pull your shoulder blades back and down, position your head back a little bit so your, so your ears connect with your shoulders better, and then just breathe from the bottom up on that same vertical line. Breathe maybe three times, um, four, five, six, nine times, whatever, just nice, good, full breaths. You're gonna find that, that there's a really good positive benefit. And I think that, especially right now, dealing with the challenges we're dealing with, Anxiety is at an all-time high for everybody, and I'll be the first to admit it. I, this, all the changes, the risks with COVID and, and this lack of connection that we have with, with people and family and friends and even coworkers um, creates a very stressful at times, very troubling type of energy in us. And so practicing this allows us to control our center. Your center is the base for everything of who you are. And no matter what's going on around you, you always have control over your center. That's the one thing that you have control over. And there are so many things happening right now that we can't control, but we can control our center. And I have another program that I'm developing, Own Your Center, where I really go into this as more of a holistic exercise, non-martial arts, just and exercise um, that goes really into that. But I think this is something that we all can really benefit from is to remind ourselves that we can only control what we can control. And no matter what is happening, no matter how terrible everything is, as long as you have control of your center, which is your connection to heaven, earth, and yourself, that St. in line, balanced with balanced with your structure, that you are able to maintain calm. And then when you connect your breath into that, that natural energetic flow of the in and out of the breath, you are able to adapt easier to everything. You're able to endure. You're able to not let things control you, not get drawn into things and not let things suck the life out of you. Because we have to survive. We have to survive. And if you lose your center, you lose yourself, you're not gonna be able to affect anything and you're certainly not gonna be able to help anybody else around you. So I hope you find this helpful. I hope you find it valuable in some way. And I highly encourage you to practice with this. And and Again, just to reiterate, I don't necessarily mean dojo practice. This is not just about martial arts in terms of fighting techniques. This is about a way of being. It's about a. It's about a. Um, it's about your your holistic self, your whole being, your whole self, not just an aspect of you. Like martial arts. This is about you. Mentally, emotionally, physically. Other videos I talked about, there's three kinds of intelligence, emotion, mental, physical, etc. This is really connecting all of that together. Just like the Ten Chi Jin, the three connecting together, your mind and your emotions and your body also represent a type of Ten Chi Jin as well. Um, or at least as far as the, the element of three, which is really significant um, in our art and in arts as well. Um, but connecting those three together, unifying them into one singular presence or state of being is what is at the foundation of perseverance and effectiveness. And so I highly encourage you to really spend time with yourself and work on these things and to be aware, to recognize when your center is being affected. When are you being drawn? How is this affecting you? Are you uh, uh, whatever? Like, how is this affecting you? And once you're aware of it, you know what to do now. Work outside in. Just work, work your body. Fix your structure. Fix your alignment. Control your breathing. And you'll be surprised how everything else will just fall back into place. And once you regain control of your center, 
you'll also be surprised how that manifests around you and how easier you will find it to control some of the other things going on in your life. So uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, feel free to check out all the other videos. I'm not producing content nearly as much as I probably should, but it's okay. Um, I'm just doing this on the side. So uh, I'm hoping you at least find it valuable. Please share it with anybody you think might benefit. It doesn't even have to be martial arts. Um, this is something that everybody's going to benefit from. Uh, so, uh, and again, I appreciate all the comments and feedback I get, the uh, constructive ones, even if it's criticism, it's okay, as long as it's constructive in nature. Um, I do appreciate all of it. So I hope you are happy and healthy. I hope your family is healthy and all your loved ones and, and people in your circle. I, I really hope and pray that, that they are healthy and that we all come through this together. We can do it as long as we don't lose ourselves in this process. So take care of yourself, stay healthy, stay strong, and keep training, keep practicing.